Hi, I'm Caitlin, and this is Book Chats, and I wanted to film my TBR for the Booktubeathon. So this is the first year I'm actually participating in the Booktubeathon. I'm not super great at readathons. I'm not good at sort of powering through and reading a lot on a schedule, but I saw pretty much everyone on Booktube is participating in Booktubeathon this year, and I thought that I would join in with the full knowledge, guys, that I'm probably going to fail terribly. So I'm just filming this intro, and then I'm going to cut in me showing you the books that are going to sort of fulfill some of the challenges, maybe. The first challenge for Booktubeathon is to read a book with a person on the cover. Two of the books I'm planning to read next week qualify for this at least, probably more than two, <laughs> but these are the two that I thought of when I was taking these pictures. I'm reading Beyond Heaving Bosoms for a book club I'm part of, and I have to have it done by Thursday. The only reason it wouldn't count is if I end up starting it before Monday. When Dimple Met Rishi is also the book that I am counting for my Read a Hyped book, which is the second challenge. The third challenge is to finish a book in one day. I have several options for this. This is kind of the shortest book I have out from the library right now, plus a novella on my e-reader that I can't remember if I've read already or not. Um, and if I don't go with either of those, I'll probably end up going with one of the romance novels that I have on my phone that I've checked out from my library as well. The next challenge for the book Tubathon is to read about a character who's very different from you. These two books could both qualify, it just depends on what I end up getting to. The Carl Sagan book is actually nonfiction, but it's by, by Carl Sagan about his agnosticism or atheism, and so it's definitely very different from me and a very different perspective. The fifth challenge is to finish or read a book completely outdoors. Yeah, I live in Texas. It has had a heat index over 100 degrees all weekend, and we're going to see whether or not I actually do this. But I have been trying all month to take walks during the day if I can, and so my plan is to just fit the book into a walk and listen to an audiobook. The two here on this screen that I probably will end up going with is either Goblin Secrets or Jesus is Greater Than Religion. Next challenge is to read a book you bought because of the cover. I don't buy books based only on the cover, I'm not like that, but I frequently, frequently, frequently check books out of the library based only on their cover. This is one that I happened to have when I was filming this, but I just stopped at the library today, so there's a couple other I might end up counting for this challenge as well. And then the final challenge is the same one that there is every year, which is to read seven books in the week. I will not meet this goal. I'm going to be really honest with you guys, but I do want to remind you of the books that are on my unwrapping TBR for the month of July. So these are the books that if I am powering through trying to finish anything else during this week, it's going to be one of these. So those are the books that I am going to try attempt to read in the next week during Booktubeathon. I'm going to put details about Booktubeathon and all of the kind of video challenges and things that I will not be participating in down below. And if you guys want to follow my progress, I will be putting sort of daily updates on my Instagram stories, so you can definitely check those out there. Let me know down below if you have a TBR or are participating in Booktubeathon. Actually, like if you have a video TBR, link to it down below. I will approve all of those links this time on this video, I will get them out of the spam queue so I can check out what you guys are reading and we can definitely encourage each other next week on Booktubeathon. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.